mommy. Where are you going? I gotta wear my boots. Okay, where are you going? Um, I gotta wear my boots. I'ma just be real, I'ma just be real, let me keep it a thousand. Gotta keep it a thousand, that's all I know. Good morning, family. How are you? How are you? And you 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 Good morning. Sometimes I just kinda like get into these moods where I'm like, you know, what am I doing with my life? And it's because, you know, our society attaches so much of our self-worth and our happiness and success to how much money we're making and how many things that we can buy. And, you know, I try to, like, stay away from that as much as I possibly can. And I don't know if it's just because, you, oh, man, just because my, uh, my bar dudes <laughs> uh, came, came in this, this year and I'm kind of like, you know, why should I, you know, hold on to my bar license when it's actually more of a pain to have than to not have because I think. Because um, I always have to be careful about what I say and what I do because I don't want anybody to do anything stupid and try to report me to the bar or whatever. And um, so I don't like like giving out legal advice and stuff like that. Because even if you tell somebody something and you don't charge them for it, they can still report you to the bar for it. Like, yeah. So, um, sometimes I'm like, man, should I go back and practice law? And uh, the only problem is, is that we have like really strong, we both, Ed and I have really strong feelings about send, not sending Trey to school. Um, public school, private school, daycare school, pre-K school, any kind of school where we're not there and we're not, we're not there, basically. We don't have to necessarily be teaching him the material because we know that there's going to be some things that people are going to be able to convey the information even better than we could to him. Um, if you want to know why we're not sending him to regular school, any kind of school, private school, anything. But, We're all done. Okay, go back out there. Let me know and I'll do a, um, a separate video on that. But we have really, really, really strong feelings about not sending him. And, oh, and so, but sometimes I just get into these moods like, Am I doing the right thing? Like, am I doing the right thing for him? Um, would he benefit more from me being at home with him and teaching him? Or would he benefit more from me being at work? And I don't know. And, you know, like, with hindsight, it's always twenty twenty. You know, you hate to have those, like, Monday morning quarterbacks telling you, well, you know, five years ago, you could have done X, Y, and Z or whatever. And you're like, well, yeah, I mean, if I would have known then, you know, people, if I would have knew then what I knew now, then I would have, you know, made these decisions. But, like, knowing what I know right now, I feel like I'm making the best decision that I could for my family. And, um... I just don't want to fail my son. I don't want to put, um, I don't want to feel like I'm putting him first. And, and then at the end of the day, he says like, you know, well, I would have rather have went, you know, to, to regular school than being around here with you all day, <laughs> you know? is that you know I should keep my bar license because it is a fallback plan if anything ever happens to him or you know whatever then I always have something that I can go to like nobody can ever take my education away and as long as I do what I'm supposed to nobody can take my bar license away from me and if anything happens to him then 
Trey and I will be jumping on the next flight to, you know, New York to find a job and, you know, continue on with life. But it's just hard. I don't have, like, you know, the perfect foot solution for this or anything like that. If anybody else is going through this, you know, the best thing that I can tell you is just you got to follow your heart. You got to can't listen to anybody else. You can't do what anybody else says you do. I always, you know, like I said a few videos that you got to do what makes you happy. You have to do what you feel like is going to be best for you and your family at that time. I mean, then you have to just let the chips fall where they may. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, we are going to Choo Choo Bob's and I will see you all either on our way there or when we get there. Come here, baby. I don't know where the I can peace. I don't know where the other peace. I don't know where the other I don't know where the other peace. I don't yeah. What did you do? I told my friends, I told my pussy, a GoPro, and a payphone, and I got my car, 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 and I got I don't know I I I I I I I Prepping for the lentil burgers that we're gonna make. And Trey is down here playing with his new train. We got him a Chuggington train. Actually, he ain't even playing with it already. He got Thomas. He's down playing with stuff for 10 minutes. Glad we got him the cheap train. <laughs> So we're watching Dexter. I'm trying to catch up to where Ed it was today because he watched a couple episodes without me. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Wonderful dinner for us. He made fish fries. These are carrot fries and a lentil burger on a wheat bun. And of course, we'll put like ketchup and stuff up there, but this is what we're eating. I don't do it. A bunny, a shady, present. 